Good morning! In this video, I am going to show you how to play Medieval Empires, what you need to do, what you need to know about how to get access to the game, uh, send you some, or will give you some details on uh, how everything is working in the game, how to get silver, um, how to play on the land, where to find a piece of land where you can play on, and uh, yeah, let's dive directly into it. So um, if you go to the website, uh, you see the play now button over here. Uh, if you go there, you can um, go to your player profile, uh, put in your email, uh, connect your wallet over here with the wallet connect that we have. And then you will also see the history of all the um, transactions that you had for the silver account, for example. Uh, you can download the Mac OS build over here or the Windows build. Um, based on what computer you have and then you will receive an email um, you need to click on the email to verify that uh, it's you uh, and if you downloaded the game it could be that uh, even on uh, mac os that you um, need to approve the app uh, in the settings or on windows that you need to hit on run anyway in order to install the game uh, once you've done that you want to play of course so there are a couple of ways on how you can uh, get access to the game first you are whitelisted from one of the um one of the events that we had on uh, galaxy with our partners uh, or uh, from some giveaway that we did the second one is uh, you can uh, go into the game if you go to our uh, recruitment channel in discord and ask another landlord on how to get access to the game uh, they're still searching for a couple of players on their land of course you need to be active on that land and uh, the third one is go to OpenSea and uh, get a land directly from OpenSea and the link is in the description. So once you've done all this, you will see the application on your desktop uh, where you can click on it and then you are directly prompted in, uh, prompt into the game. And you see over here, that's my piece of land or uh, no, that's not my piece of land. That's the whole world from Medieval Empires. And on this part in North Ankara, that's the piece of land that I own, for example. You will see uh, the highlighter over here where you are located. It's either on whitelisted land from us or on the uh, land of one of the landlords that uh, has given you access. And then you will see a notification. Hey, this is the land. Do you want to settle? And then you can choose a slot on there. So you go to the land that you want to play on and then you can choose one of the slots over here. Or if you are already on the land, you can also move. Like if you want to say, okay, I want to move here and then uh, now I'm moving here with my town. I kind of like this spot better, so I will move back over here. Uh, and if you are a landlord and want to invite another player, you can just go here, say invite player, put the email address. And then after you've put the email address at gmail.com or whatever, um, you send an invitation, invite the text uh, to the clipboard, go to the player that you want to uh, play with or that you want to have on your land and then send them the invite text. So uh, once you are on the land, you have settled, uh, you want to start building your town either through clicking on your land over here or going to the to the home button. And uh, then you need to start uh, building all the buildings that you see over here. I'm currently ranked 10. Um, and I hope to be on the leaderboard a little bit higher in the next couple of days and weeks. Uh, so uh, what you need to do. So um, you see the, the building button over here and then you can build all the buildings that you have. Uh, once you've built all of them, you can also rearrange them. If you go here and say, okay, I don't like this setup. I want uh, to have this over here. Then you can simply place it. I don't like that. I will put it directly back over here, but you get the point. Um, then you want to start uh, building all the buildings that you have uh, over here and start building your army. Uh, to build your army, you need to have, for example, the Hero Academy where you can uh, train your hero. Let's train one. So either you create a or train a new hero, which costs a thousand silver and uh, some recruitment time, or you can do it instantly. Of course, I will show you later how this one works as well. Uh, or you can upgrade one of the existing ones that you have over here. Let's first uh, build a new hero. So you hit on recruit and now you see in 11 hours, I will get my new hero with all the stats that it uh, has. And um, what I can also do is I can um, upgrade one of the heroes that I have over here. For example, this one, 
uh, he has 100% in uh, experience, so I can upgrade it. And by the way, you also see the durability over here. So maybe it's worth checking uh, the durability of like this one, for example, has 276 durability. So that's definitely one I want to upgrade because it will last longer. Or this one has 277 even. So uh, check what kind of special abilities you get uh, if you like what you have and then focus on this guy and uh, leveling him up. I will level this one up definitely because it will last long. So uh, what you also need to do is uh, you need to have some people to fight with so you can um, create your army for example uh, create a bowman over here um, that's a great one then you have the stable where you can have your horsemen then you have the um, yeah the archers we just had but you also have in the barracks you can uh, create your swordmen and you can also level them up based on the town hall level that you have over here so uh, once you did all that uh, you can also upgrade all your buildings of course like the military HQ is something I could update if I would have enough uh, resources. I don't, but I think I have enough resources for upgrading the barracks. No, still don't have enough. Uh, let's check another one that I have over here. I can most likely upgrade the stables. Yes, I can upgrade the stables and in 10 hours I will be back to uh, upgrade the next building. You collect your resources which you need in order to uh, build those buildings or to have new um, um new features or uh, that you can get your army for example uh to grow bigger and you can also customize the setup of your army if you go over here to the military hq um you can set a custom army like that's the one that you always fight with for example you can have different setups over here and once you have all your army and you see that uh already now have a lot of people jumping here on my land um, you can also do the quests. Um, so you see over here, I already defeated a couple of invaders. So I collect this quest and I have a couple of others that I need to do. For example, increase the level of a military headquarter or increase the level of an infantry unit uh, or any unit or increase the level of any hero, which I will uh, do because I just upgraded it over here. And then you gain uh, silver through the, doing those daily quests. You can collect them like this. Just click on it and then uh, you can get up to 100 silver or 250 uh, in total. Um, once you've uh, built all your army, the whole town, you can go to the um, to the province map and on the province map is where the fighting happens. So uh, if I, for example, want to fight uh, those guys over here, uh, I just go hit attack and then assemble my army. It already puts in the highest ones that you have, but I always like to put in, for example, a swordman or... Um, or a horseman over here. You can also drag and drop if you uh, want to do it like this. That's also possible. And uh, yeah, then just go ahead and attack. And what you can also do is um, attack multiple armies at the same time. So you go here, click to the next one. Again, I will put in at least a swordman in order to be the first front. So he will die and those will survive. I like the archers the most at the moment. Uh, and what you can also do is uh, put them somewhere else. So you can say, okay, you stay here uh, and uh, go fight those ones. Or you can even say, hey, join those guys downstairs uh, and uh, we all fight together over here. And I could also have those other guys on my land join in on the fight and then we would share resources that you get because if you fight against an invader, you will get the resources uh, from that invader. So, but I, I want to go there and fight those. Uh, once the fight is done, uh, your people most likely will be injured. As you see, I'm winning this one, but uh, already the first horseman here is dying. So uh, they will be directly placed into the hospital. Um, and uh, then get healed. So if you have a higher uh, built hospital, they will heal faster, of course. So always uh, heal whatever you have over there. And by the way, uh, the the game will also guide you through if you click on the, the upgrade and you then you will see down here what you need to upgrade first in order to uh, upgrade the next building. And uh, yeah, then if you want to, for example, speed up one of the some of the processes, you can go over here and say speed up. Uh, this action would cost me 11,000 silver. I don't want to do that, but I want to upgrade, for example, the stable a little bit faster. So I go here and then it says like, oh, I don't have enough silver. So what you do, uh, you go to um, uh, to the marketplace and then you can get some silver over here in uh, USDC at the moment. So just go here, click. Uh, do your MetaMask magic 
um, and then you can get more silver directly in the game and um, yeah don't forget to collect your resources then you can go to the leaderboard and see who's leading uh, at the moment i'm ranked 20 i could be better uh, but i don't have that much time but uh, alpha leon is kicking it uh, cvw uh, they're really kicking it over here and we have a couple of people from the team playing as well so you also see uh carl over here you will see uh, Jan and uh, uh ching so we're trying the game as well um but like we cannot beat you because uh, as you see level 20 you guys are awesome in the community uh, you can also check for the the level the progress uh who has the top heroes uh who has the best army who has the most kills uh, then you can just check for the top heroes over here uh the top clans is something that we will implement in the future uh where clans can fight against clans um we will have uh, pvp coming into the game and that's just the beginning that you see so pvp will come uh, you will have skins for your buildings rations uh, you will be able to fight against each other fight with each other against others we will have uh, historical battles for land that you see uh, around places of interest that you might seen on the map already and um, yeah that's the game uh, if you have any questions on how to get into the game go to our discord go to our telegram uh, check it out on youtube we have lots of videos uh, if you're watching on youtube like and subscribe uh, to get all the latest infos we are building constantly so every two week, uh, weeks we uh, ship a new features uh, there will still be bugs we're in the alpha version of the game uh, so if you have a bug for example you can go in here and uh, report an issue uh, or join our discord to ask questions you can also go into the full screen mode over here and uh, if you want to have tips and tricks i would say uh, find a good landlord uh, they know more stuff already uh, about the little details of the economy most likely than i do um, and uh, yeah check if you have um, your battle report uh, what works what doesn't work as i said i always use one to die for and the other ones will survive over here as you see so the foot soldiers are the first one to die and then uh, yeah that's the game um, if you like it, uh, leave a thumbs up and uh, see you on the next video.